continuing on from the previous tutorial. Uh, as I'm watching this fire, as it's uh, as the video, other video was encoding, I was in noticing that the fire kind of you'll see up here. It doesn't. They don't really shrink. You know, it looks kind of weird the way it. Um, they just kind of flow out. Well, how we do that is we right click in the fire over here, fire emitter, and go to size and size by life. And click the graph, and we want to turn, make sure no one can click anything. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. So the so the fires they slowly scale down as they reach the top. Uh, also. Um, Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, now we're going to add some smoke. So, same thing again. We can use the same texture. So, click the cloud. We're going to right click, new particle system. And we're going to turn those off. Now, with the cloud, with the smoke, actually, we want to rename it first. So, under emitter name, we'll do smoke. Okay, now the smoke, if you think about it, and when you look at fire, you'll be starting off at a certain size, and then as it gets higher, it'll be it'll be scaling up. So, what we want to do, let's see, we can also use, um, can also stay with the same kind of thing, we can stay with the same cylinder, for example, so select Alt, click the cylinder, and drag it over. And let's see. Probably won't turn the fire on so we can see them. Okay, now we're going to have to move the cylinder up a little higher than the fire. So you right click, location, initial location, and draw 3D mode so you can see. And now you should see this little purple cross right there. That is the location of the emitter. So we're going to be moving it up. So under here, under vector, as you turn this off, you can see it better. Uh, so we're going on the z-axis. So say we'll do 100, for example. And then you see, like, so now it's spawning between the location between 0 and 100. So we're going to go up a little higher, so 80. And turn on fire again. So that might be a little too high. So. Drop that down to 80. Drop it down to 60. Okay, and we'll go to initial size. Remember, we only want to concentrate on the x-axis. We don't need the others. And max. So let's see. Uh, per se, 100. And 100. Start out like this. Good set. Okay. And we're going to increase the velocity a little more. So we're going to go 80. Now we can also add acceleration as well. So you do acceleration. That's at 50. And we want to add a rotation. We can also remember we can always copy these. Just click and drag. Okay, and we probably want to play around with the color of a life. Now you see right here we're getting a little full. You can actually right click and remove remove curves. That way you can clear out the space you don't need. So we're going to go to alpha, and I think we're going to bring this down. So there's a little bit of smoke, and then it gets very smoky at the end. Okay. 
and maybe I'll add a little bit of red to the bottom that way we can give it the illusion that the heat is still there and I'm gonna add a size size by velocity Size by life. Probably add a little more velocity to it. And I think that color is killing it, so I'm going to turn off the color. Remember, you're always playing with this thing, you're like tweaking it and tweaking it, so. Can't really see the embers we made, so I guess we'll turn them on. Probably lasting too long, so we'll drop that down. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. So now we're gonna break it in the game. Oh, and remember, you can pause it and you can make yourself a nice beauty shot um, you can maybe if you want to turn the cylinders off you just go to cylinder you don't have to you're just gonna just go to the camera hit put that and close it down and you'll see it updates over here and remember to save we're gonna get our barrel and I'll make a quick level quick area drag it to there. Now you can also, if you don't want to drag it, you can also select it. Oops. Select it. And sit, hit uh, S for static mesh. It'll do it too. And select the fire. And right click uh, actor add a mit, mitter PFX tutorial 01. You want to see it? The play button. A little big for my little can, so I'm gonna up the scale. So two. 